episode of Super Reaction Bros. I'm Chris. And I'm Christopher. And on today's episode, we're taking a look at the official trailer for the live action adaptation, video game adaptation, of Monster Hunter. Official, official trailer. The we're official, saying that. The <laughs> yeah. official, official trailer. Official, official after the last... Uh, the, so, yeah. uh, anyways, anyways, uh, we already brought up before, this is the, the, the wonderful combination of uh, Jovovich and Paul W.S. Anderson coming back for this, mm -hmm. and it is, of course, like an adaptation of the world, uh, like, one of the best-selling yeah. video games of all time for Capcom. For Capcom, Mon for Monster Mon Hunter. Monster Hunter. So, um, the basic plot, and I was thinking about this yesterday. You remember those movies where the kid gets sucked through time, yeah, or gets, yeah, yeah. kid goes to an alternate universe? This is that, mm -hmm, that's except for more PG-13 crap. Yeah. So, and if you're wondering what I mean, because basically the plot is, uh, Mila Jovovich is part of this group of uh, sol soldiers, U.S. Yeah. soldiers, who get sucked into the world of Monster Hunter. And not only do they have to survive now in this new world of gigantic motherfucking creatures, but now they, they're also trying to, of course, find a way back home. Yeah, that's what it is. And I... And, and, it's, and it's like what I said, it's, like, it's a type of thing where they're trying to do this because they want to kind of go through the eyes of these new people, but also for the new people who've never heard of the game or anything like that, and they want people to understand this is what the world is. They want somebody to explain. They want the exposition to be dumped on somebody. And that's why they're trying to do it like this. Because even I read an article, even the director has stated, we're doing it like this only because not a lot of people know about this world, you know, or, you know, the game itself. So we need some type of uh, characters that don't know about this world either. Once again, this is the best-selling Capcom game of all time. I know. Exactly. Yeah. So, I, I mean, figured. trust me, there's a large audience that already knows there's about a, this. There's a large audience, but I think for those who not are big on gaming... But want I just want... Honestly, no, I only thing I want from it is that really good Monster Hunter team. The main team. Yeah, I think that, that's what, I think that's what a lot of people want. That. I think that's what a lot of people want. I've never played the game. I've only, you know, I've seen it. And I, as always, I always appreciate the people who play it, enjoy it, and made it to what it is. But it's not my type of game. But anyways, let's dive into this for the official, official trailer for Monster Hunter. So here we go. Yep, there, I think that's Arapalos. Seems like a rip in the sky. Do you have any idea what those markers are? They look pretty ancient. Tracks in here. Definitely Bravo team. They don't just disappear. They're investigating. No, they get... So they're investigating it. Yeah. There's the port. Portal. Yeah, there's your portal. Okay, there he goes. Yeah, they disappeared. To their world. Where the hell are we? Okay. There's, there he is. <laughs> Tony. There's a what? Are we like Guardians of the Galaxy now? <laughs> On our six! Yeah, Rock. He knows what he knows what it is. You say that and still say that comment, yeah. Come this is officially above my pay grade. Yeah, <laughs> it's already officially above everybody. What those creatures are. Destroy them. Ready to get a kill. This is a scratch. God damn. I already knew it was going to be effects heavy on this, uh, this film. Oh, sh oh, the size of it. Oh, damn. There it is. Rathalos. Yeah, that's right. Definitely. <laughs> and a random, <laughs> for, random promotion for PS5. PS5. What the hell? That was a random. Let's put, add that PS5 in there at the end. We gotta add that PS5. Okay. In. It, 
technically it's coming to PS5. Yeah, technically it is. Technically. But anyways, anyways, okay, I, I kind of knew it was going to be like, it really affects heavy. So uh, it's like, okay, I understand the story, but how are they going to affect So, okay, so for the plot, it looks like some of those things happen coming to our world. And they just so happen to accidentally go into a portal into their world. And they're they're actually the, the people investigating what happened to their, their their actual crew pretty much to them. Um and like we saw Tony Jaws one of the hunters He's in one that of the world they yeah. encounter. Um not much else on plot, not hearing that main theme, which no. I'm gonna call party foul if that's not even in it at all. See that, see and okay. I was expecting it to for the first trailer to kinda just show nothing but action, because I'm like, okay, We'll get a second trailer and we'll see, okay, what the story is going to be more closely. Here, it's like they gave us a little bit more, but it's like they didn't give us enough. They just showed us, okay, these are our group of characters. And that's it for our, our starting group of characters. It's really hard to judge this just based on the visuals alone. Because the visual, if you just judge on the visuals alone, yeah, this looks like a fucking Monster Hunter. It, it does. It looks like and, Monster and Hunter. it looks like there's certain parts. A, more, a bit more like action movie style Monster Hunter, but still Monster Hunter. Yeah, and that's what it is. That's what it's supposed to be about. The, and it looks like, don't get me wrong, I, I'm watching the effects myself. I'm like, okay, there's certain parts where I'm like, okay, still need we work some with. There's other parts where it's like, okay, that looks good. You the, know? The biggest crutch is who's working on it. Yeah, that's the That's biggest the biggest crutch, crutch of it. Because like, it could be, it, 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 the thing is, it's, it, it could be either a hit or miss for him on the Yeah, because you gotta remember, the last two big video game adaptations that came out, were actually good. Yeah. Like, I have still haven't seen Detective Pikachu, but I heard it was amazing. Yeah. And we both saw Sonic the Hedgehog film, and we thought it was good. Yeah, and they're both... To be honest, I've seen them both, and they're both fantastic. And that's a, I think that's the biggest problem, worry I have with this. It's Paul W.S. Anderson. This mm -hmm. is the man who gave us so many... It's like, we're on, a roll, it's like we're on a roll so far of, like... The, like you said, the past two video game uh, movies, it's like... We're on a roll. It's like, we don't want somebody to come in and start ruining that with... It's like, okay, let's... Uh, we're hoping that th this isn't that one, you know, the one that's going to bring it back yeah, down again. because like I said, it looks visually appealing, it looks like the game, but like... You're then, hoping the story the, the, It's the plot. Like, I know Mil I know the actors they got are good actors. They got, good actors. The, the actors they the got are good. The problem I have with this is the script. It's going to be the story. Like, it's like, that's what has to sell this. It's the writing. It's like, I know, that's, and that's why I said, in this, it was more just showing off the visuals. I think that's all it was. It showed us the introduction of the characters we're going to be with the whole time, but I think the rest of it, I think... Now has to land on okay. How's the story? The visuals okay. They did a great job on. They did great, but it's like now you have to sell us on the story, sell us on what you know makes this, you know, worth watching or worth you know worth the wait of like finally let's let's see what the story is. You know, you know, does is it feel worthy of a Monster Hunter film? You know, you know, and faithful to what the game is. Not just because oh the visuals are great, they got the monsters, but any any person per, video game person knows, yeah, you can have a great you know visuals for a game, but you have to have great story. Yeah, you have to have that story that really grabs you and brings you in. Besides the gameplay and stuff like that, but just a story that'll grab you and have you hooked in. To where it's like, ooh, this is interesting. This has me hooked. And I hope that's what I'm hoping. That's what I'm wanting. And maybe the next trailer that we'll get for this is maybe we'll get a story based trailer going. Okay, this is what's going on. Let's introduce the other characters now. The other side of the, uh, you know, the people in Monster Hunter. There's probably gonna be in, like one more trailer for. for yeah, and I so think that's what I said. Hopefully we that. get. Yeah, hopefully they'll give us more of an explanation. Visually, right now it looks appealing because it's it's what we want. It, it looks appealing, but of course the biggest crutch is of course. Again, it's the, it's, it's, it's the just, story. It's just the story, and that's so, what we're hoping for in this. It's yeah. just the story. <clears throat> So other than that, if you're new to the channel, you hit the like button. If you want to talk to us more about stuff like this, comment down below. If you want to share us around, share it around. And if you like us just a little bit more than anybody else when it comes to talking about video game movie adaptations, hit the subscribe button down below and hit that bell icon as well. Let us know what you guys' thoughts are on this trailer overall. Um, is it, a, you know, if you're a Monster Hunter fan overall for the game series, what do you guys think of, you know, just the looks of everything, just the monsters, does it, you know, really nail it pretty much to what you want it for a film you know what you want to see visually and for story wise or is that what you're leaning on as, as well just like us which is you know do you want that story to sell does it really want to get your attention to get people going I gotta watch this film I gotta you know see what they're, they're talking about you know what are your hopes uh, for this film besides it for being another so far uh, you know next game you know video adaptation turned into a film you know 
uh, you know, a successor in a way. You know, are you hoping for that? That's what we're hoping for because so far we've got two down so far. This is hopefully this is, this is not the one that bring it right back down again. Mm -hmm. uh, but let us know what you guys thought of our reaction overall. But most importantly, we thank you for watching. So until next time, I'm Chris. I'm Chris. And of course, this has been a very Monster Hunter filled episode of SRB. See you later. Hey guys, thanks for watching. If you want to check out our previous reactions or any one of our other SRB shows, check out one of our playlists down below. If you want to check us out in the social universe, you can find us on Twitter and Stardust at Super React Bros.